All right, here's a look at our sunrise weather, and this time around we're going to be watching some of those showers and storms in the south building up. Generally, we have this southwesterly wind flow and the rain's heading off to the east northeast here some of the rain bypassing Huntsville a heavy burst now ready to come into Chattanooga it's moving in your way Knoxville the rain's about also to come in over toward eastern Kentucky so uh, it looks as though we'll find the rains probably dying down in intensity just a touch then they're going to uh, rebuild later today as we go over toward uh, the middle areas of Georgia. So we're looking for some of these showers and storms that will be building up across the region and we'll find uh, the rain uh, probably anywhere from southern areas of uh, Alabama right over to Georgia and they'll start to uh, fire up. Okay, as we look at the latest right here, here's a closer view of what's happening. Jackson, Mississippi, 50 degrees, not very cold at all, but certainly cooler than what we've been looking at over toward Birmingham and Atlanta upper 50s. The front's moving by. It cools down slightly, but this is not a very cold air mass, so it will cool down a little, but not too terribly much. Notice down toward uh, the northwest Florida area into southern areas of Alabama, a line here. Occasionally, you can get some severe storms building up, and this will likely take over later today. So we'll keep our eyes on thunderstorms, especially down across the southern half of Georgia and maybe parts of the Panhandle, Florida. Over to Chattanooga, the rain is picking up in intensity. The solid rain probably sticking around for about an hour, maybe a slightly longer. You can see the back edge already moving past Huntsville. This is all lifting over to the east northeast. So just be careful traveling around Chattanooga early morning hours on this Sunday morning. Down to around Atlanta, we had one little area of rain lifting up past Lake Lanier. 57 degrees, 58 degrees. It is mild out there. If you're traveling 20 over toward Birmingham, the rains will pick up and then what you'll find is that uh, the winds will pick up out of the west, sliding over that way to Birmingham. One line's moving through a break. We have more rain to get through coming in shortly. Farther to the south, notice down to Mobile and Pensacola. We're in the upper 60s. It is a very mild morning. Storms building up in intensity here. Some of those may actually have some small hail, some brief gusty winds as that line continues, uh, generally lifting off to the northeast over toward the southeastern reaches of Alabama. The forecast as we look at your Sunday highlights here, much of the east, scattered showers, some thunderstorms around. Some of those could be locally strong, especially in the southeastern part of the country, stretching over across all southern Georgia, maybe into northwestern Florida. And as we head to the Midwest, oh, by the way, let me back up in the northeast. A lot of important NFL games going on. Uh, rain could uh, play a factor in some of those ball games. Mid part of the country, generally dry and not too cold after this frigid weather that we've seen for a good while. We are definitely looking better now. Then jumping over to the western United States, we have had snow around Seattle and Portland for a few weeks. Well, the normal weather is back in. That means the rains are coming back in and some of the rain locally heavy yet again. So more wet times in the northwest. Well, if the cold weather has slowed your exercise routine down, then our forecast for your health report is for you. Dr. Anna Marie says with the right steps, you can stay in shape this season. Well, good Sunday morning and welcome to Weekend Outlook. I'm meteorologist Rich Johnson. And I'm meteorologist Mark Mancuso. And they're doing the old tomahawk chop this morning in the Florida Panhandle. Waiting a cold front to come on through with a little rain and some thunderstorms. I don't think anybody's doing anything right now. Everybody's still asleep after that game, probably. A little bit later. It's that time of the year. We have all that food in our tummies. It's time to relax and uh, just get ready uh, for uh, the beginning of school, which is probably not about uh, several more days away. Right? Yeah, we're, we're talking about school already. Come on. <laughs> Let's talk about weather. Let's do something here. Let's go and talk about some fog in the northeast. Hey, it is uh, really foggy in some locations. Visibility down to around a quarter mile or less. So just be extra careful if you're uh, getting ready for some of the church services and such. Uh, eastern Pennsylvania down through the Susquehanna Valley around New York City. Visibilities are low. Not quite over to Boston, but 
have to be extra careful if you're going to be out driving around this morning. Eventually, the fog will dissipate as the winds pick up later today. And with the wind uh, mixing the atmosphere up, usually the fog the visibility uh, actually improves pretty good. So we have fog on the eastern end. On the western side of things, that's where we have the high wind uh, warnings out there. And we're looking at uh, western New York State, right over to western Pennsylvania, with some of those gusty winds. And you can see right now the wind warnings, the wind advisories here. Buffalo, maybe some of the winds gusting 50 or 60 out of the west. Right now you have the winds generally south-southwest, but after the front blow by, that's when the winds will really be picking up. So usually once you get around 50 mile hour wind gusts, now you can get some of those branches coming off the trees there. And uh, there is potential if you get some gusts around 60 miles an hour, there could be some power outages. So we'll be watching that very carefully. All right, as we look at the radar, not much happening here. It's almost out of here already in the 40s, a mild morning, mostly rain here. There was some icing north of Caribou. That has essentially ended as the rain is now heading over toward New Brunswick. Let's check the forecast for the Northeast. And uh, you know the way it's shaping up. A lot of important NFL games will be coming up, and Mark's going to have more on that shortly. But all oh, the rain scattered about all over the place. At least it's going to be mild. It is way above average. Temperatures in the 60s, pretty amazing, certainly for this time of year. Philadelphia, New York City, Boston. Uh, D.C. actually close to 70 degrees. Amazing to see how warm it is. Our forecast in detail over to Philadelphia, 63 degrees. Then we try to get closer to seasonal averages as the readings drop down in the 40s. Maybe some significantly cooler air come in as we go into the latter part of the week around Thursday. Highs only in the low 30s, so we'll be below average. Hey, there's some thunderstorms building across the south. Also some fog. Mark has more on those stories. Yeah, another foggy start in the southeastern United States and the Carolinas into eastern Georgia reduced visibilities. Give yourself a little extra time early this morning. Now to the west we have a cold front and as it charges its way through the south we are seeing some downpours of rain and behind the front it's pretty gusty winds here in northern Alabama. Frontal zone has just passed through the Birmingham area and Tuscaloosa too. The front has slipped down to the south of San Antonio but now we're seeing a little return flow of moisture and some showers have redeveloped here. Here's the front and right along the front a pretty solid shield of rain in advance of it there have been some showers uh, scooting through north georgia but here's the main area of rain and the front itself uh, pretty much along this line of downpours right here so the front has moved through the birmingham here area the winds are shifting and the cooler air is coming in but by no means is the air cold across the south. Here in the Florida Panhandle, some downpours of rain. There are the thunderstorms Rich was talking about. Southern Alabama, uh, looks like the winds could gust uh, 40 to 50 miles an hour with the storms. New Orleans, not wet yet, but downpours are on the way. And as we take you to South Texas, we see some of that rain here. Just a few showers showing up south of San Antonio, mainly for the early morning hours. Let's take a look at the temperatures across the southern United States, and they are changing. Uh, behind the front, the cooler air is moving in. Most significant changes in our temperatures have occurred here in the southern plain states. Temperatures the past 24 hours have fallen anywhere from 30 to 40 degrees, so down a little bit below freezing here in Tulsa. But look at the other side of the front. It is mild and I know a lot of folks vacationing here in South Florida around Miami. It is looking good. 70 degrees right now. So easy to find the front behind it. Temperature is really cooling off. Ahead of it, it's mild and it's moist. And with those uh, temperatures today in the 60s and 70s, uh, they'll be running well above average. Behind the front, uh, temperature is really not cooling all that much. Uh, temperature is compared to average, showing you temperatures remaining and near to above average for the next couple of days. So rain in the southeast today. Some thunderstorms, too, near the Gulf Coast. Uh, behind the storms, some pleasant weather. Looks like the front uh, won't make it to South Florida until Tuesday and without much fanfare. Now let's check the Midwest. Rich? Okay, yeah, let's uh, go to the Midwest, and we also have the uh, wind advisories out. Some of the winds will be quite gusty, near 50 miles per hour. It's already happening. Uh, snow falling behind after the front moves by. Some snow up around Green Bay. Winter weather advisories may pick up a couple inches of snow, but out ahead of the front, we'll be looking at rain showers. Here's a closer look around Chicago, over to around Sheboygan, upper 20s with some flurries flying this morning.